Welcome back to this afternoon session. Uh, in this session, we have three speakers. Uh, the general sum of this session is the official population. He is the internal right majority department and local politicians. Our first speaker is from uh, Professor Xin Xu from Fudan University. That's welcome. I would like to, uh, uh, first of all, I would like to take this opportunity to express my sincere thanks to the organizer, in particular, uh, John, for this kind of state invitation. So, uh, of course, I would start uh, my talk by saying <coughs> congratulations to, to John uh, for the uh, establishment of this uh, international com communication center at NIU Shanghai. So, uh, <laughs> on them. so uh, today I'll be talking on the uh, So yesterday we have really nice talks on the development of phosphine. Uh, so in terms of biological uh, application, of course, uh, uh, phosphine is the number one choice. Uh, uh, the uh, but uh, in terms of uh, uh, first principles, um, methods, and perhaps uh, there's only uh, 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 DFT, uh, which is uh, uh, nowadays uh, widely widely used. Uh, uh, the, the foundation of uh, modern DFT actually lies in the Hamburg Crown theorem, which proves that uh, there exists a one to one correspondence between the ground state electron density of the main body system and its uh, energy. But for application, uh, one uh, has to solve two answer two questions uh, uh, in the first place, and how we can find the ground state density, and how to construct the, the energy expression that uh, uh, reflect correctly this mapping between uh, ground state density and uh, and, and the energy. So, uh, in principle, DFT can uh, uh, take into account the main body effect, but of course, the success of DFT. Uh, relies on the quality of the exchange uh, correlation functional use. So over uh, the 50 years, there are many uh, DFT functionals uh, being proposed. Uh, this is a produced view of the, the, this uh, density functional, starting from the Earth of the hot tree cereal to the heavens of the chemical accuracy. So we current the so-called uh, Jacobian uh, letters. Uh, uh, we, we, uh, we can have the LDA, GGAs, and then all the way uh, up. Uh, so first run, second run, and to the fifth uh, to, uh, to the fifth run. So uh, there are more and more ingredients can be uh, can be can be used. So the uh, the most popular one would be uh, the BSRI, which is a hybrid functional using uh, information from the expert occupied orbitals. Of course, uh, maybe uh, the next one will be using uh, the unoccupied orbital information. So that you may not wondering that uh, DFT use uh, uh, density as a uh, as a basic variables and why uh, uh, you need informations from unoccupied orbit, orbital, orbitals. And of course, as a case, uh, we've been taught that both homo and homo are very important. So uh, we need to uh, not only consider the uh, homos, but also the lumos. Uh, but uh, what's the perspective in terms of the DFT? So this comes, uh, so the, uh, the so-called double hybrid functional. And this is only a, a one way approximately to use the unoccupied uh, in, uh, information of the unoccupied orbitals. Then what is the W hybrid functional? So uh, Grimm sort of make this functional uh, uh, popular. So you may be familiar with the wave functional theory. We, uh, the, low, uh, the lowest level, of course, is uh, Hartree-Fock. But uh, Hartree-Fock, by definition, <coughs> There's no correlation effects, and we know that the correlation effects is very really important. So the lowest level functional, that the uh, lowest level wave functional methods uh, that include uh, this correlation effect is uh, uh, as the MP2. So you you use Hartree-Fock as a reference. It's only a reference uh, uh, without uh, 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 taking into account the correlation effect, as I just mentioned. And then you do perturbation. So uh, 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 on 
only up to second order, uh, second order, and so you have this kind of MP2. So Grimm's idea is maybe you can use uh, a, a conditional operator, a sort of conditional operators, but this functional only contains partial correlation. And with this as a, uh, only as a reference, and then you do perturbation. And because uh, this, uh, this orbital already contains a partial information of the correlation, and so you have to rescale this MP2. But the, 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 the machinery is really similar. So you, you use Hartford as a reference, and Hartford by no means uh, um, will give the density of the true ground state. It's only a reference, but then you do perturbation, and so you take into account the correlation effects. So here, which is same, that's why I, 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 I put a prime on the density, because uh, you're using a functional which only contains partial correlation, and its purpose is only to generate uh, a, a sort of a, a orbitals uh, and which, uh, which, which is only a reference. And then uh, you do this. Uh, you do this perturbation. So uh, this is a, uh, uh, so uh, this exchange correlation function. Of, uh, of course, then you can understand why this is double hybrid. Because now uh, 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 on one hand you have partial quark mixed with DFT uh, exchange, and then DFT correlation mixed with uh, uh, MP2 correlation. So this is a double uh, this is double hybrid. But this is a not uh, the same as a, as a in definition as a function as a, a exchange correlation. And you can also understand in this way. So uh, at the, uh, by applying the mixing coefficients, if ax equals zero and ac equals zero, this is nothing but uh, b or yp. And if ax equals y and ac equals one, and this is nothing but the mp2. So you are mixing something between b or yp and mp2, and uh, to try to find uh, uh, good performance, numeric performance. So, uh, so uh, the. Uh, 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 our idea is uh, because, uh, uh, as I just said, that, that so many people are using VSLIP. Of course, VSLIP is not the true uh, uh, functional, but it's a, it's a very good approximation. So uh, uh, the functional itself, of course, is a, 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 a we still uh, searching for it. So we may we may use the uh, VSLIP to generate uh, orbitals and base states. And using this orbital and density and uh, to to re uh, evaluate uh, final uh, final energies, we assume that density uh, orbital is uh, uh, good enough in the first place, uh, and then where the energy is not good enough uh, because uh, we know that the this uh, rate for short or uh, for 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 a good dis uh, description of uh, say one walls and the reaction very high, and so we need something better. Uh, so in this way, uh, the new functional actually uh, share with this rep uh, the kinetic density because uh, the orbitals are same. Uh, the Coulomb and, and the external uh, potential energy because uh, density is the same as uh, this rep. But we only update a little bit of uh, this uh, uh, exchange, cor uh, exchange correlation. So uh, this, uh, uh, we argue that uh, has its roots in the so-called adiabatic connection approach. The key idea is that the adiabatic connect, uh, the path connects the fictitious non-impacting conditional system to the physical system by continuous switching the electron, electron uh, interaction. But the, with the density fixed at the given, uh, given, given value, so you can always so you can scale this uh, electron electron uh, interaction uh, uh, by uh, by tuning this lambda from uh, uh, zero to one. Zero is a conjunction system and uh, one is a real system. But you tune the external potential so that uh, uh, so that the density uh, from this harmonia will be all the same along this adiabatic connection path, and this is what we call the adiabatic connection connection. With this and with common Feynman theory, and then you can express this exchange correlation functional in terms of this uh, uh, integration. 
uh, of electron electron coup uh, uh, coupling constant. And so, if the integral, uh, you can know, of course, it, it, this is well defined. But uh, then you need the knowledge from this partial interaction wave function, which uh, of course is a many body uh, wave function. But if lambda equals zero, and then this uh, this many body wave if, uh, 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 wave function will reduce to Slater equation, will uh, will will reduce to a Slater determinant, and then you can see okay the expectation value of this electron electron in interaction is just the exchange plus Coulomb. So uh, then you know that uh, uh, at lambda equals zero. W, uh, this integ uh, integral is just the uh, Hartree-Fock exchange. So the initial value is the Hartree-Fock exchange. You can also express this in terms of perturbation theory. You use this Kongshan system as your reference, and then you uh, you, you you turn on this uh, electron electron uh, interaction to uh, to approaching this real uh, real system. And then in this language, you can get another equation for this W lambda. And so from here, you can see, okay, as we already seen that the lambda equals zero and the, uh, W is just the exchange, uh, Hartree-Fock exchange, the initial value. And then you can uh, take the derivative uh, with respect to the coupling constant lambda. And at lambda equals zero, the derivative is nothing but uh, twice of the gordon lewis second order perturbation. gordon lewis second order perturbation, uh, which uh, uh, differs slightly from, uh, from, uh, from MP2 uh, by also uh, including this uh, uh, single excitation term. And so you can see, as, uh, so if exchange correlation in terms of a coupling constant is this, uh, is this the area, and then your purpose is to propose something which can calculate uh, this, uh, uh, this value. So uh, this rep will emphasize uh, the importance of this initial value, which, uh, which, uh, which is a Hartree-Fock exchange. And uh, if you also consider the Gordon V second order perturbation, and then uh, you, you are also emphasizing the initial slope. So uh, here we argue that the, both the initial position and the initial uh, slope is very important. So in this way, this gives, uh, gives you an understanding why the uh, unoccupied orbital information is important because you are, uh, in terms of this W lambda, you do the integration to give an expression for the exchange correlation. And then uh, you uh, not only need to know the initial value of this W lambda, but also you need the information from the initial slope. And initial value, if only initial value is considered, this will lead to Becky's uh, B-slip function. And if also the uh, uh, initial slope is considered, this will lead the W hybrid functional. And so, um, so of course, uh, uh, in terms of this perturbational ideals, and uh, only up to second order is not enough, like wave function theory. You need to consider high order, but then it's very expensive. We're assuming that uh, you already have a good or reasonably good uh, uh, correlation functional, which then <coughs> contains all the information up to the infinity order. So the 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 uh, the methodology here uh, we employed uh, is that we calculate the most important double excitation and leave all the other. Uh, excitations, high order excitation, which uh, if you do that, uh, uh, is very expensive, uh, to be described by this uh, DFT correlation. And in this way, you do this kind of a uh, 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 sort of fitting, and so you can you can have uh, uh, we call this x y g three functionals. And but of course, we know that uh, in terms of this, uh, this double excitation, we have the opposite spin states and also the same spin states. And of course, this OS, opposite spin uh, excitation, is most important because it's, uh, electron pairing 
tells you the chemical bonding. And so we only explicitly calculate the opposite spin contribution from the doubles and the leaf of the same spin to, the, to be described by the DFT. And then this, we have this kind of OS version, uh, simplified version of this XYG3. Uh, of this XYG3. So the immediate uh, uh, advantage uh, of this is then you can do the Laplacian transform and take a look at a locality. You can dramatically reduce the scaling for the standard MP2, like n to the fifth power to something uh, between uh, n to the third power uh, uh, could be lower for the linear system and uh, slightly higher for, for, the, uh, for the 3D system. So you can see uh, uh, then the scaling is really, uh, really good. So as compared to the standard uh, DFT calculations for this uh, uh, XYGGOS functional. So what's the performance? So uh, uh, of course, uh, before doing that, uh, we need to fit, uh, uh, we, need, uh, uh, we, we do have several parameters. Uh, this is very really similar to the, uh, to, 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 to the way that the b uh, parameters uh, were determined. So we fit to the heat transformation of the G399 sets to, uh, we contains four, uh, three or four parameters that we fit this only to the G3 sets. So the G3 sets only contains a set of uh, uh, small molecules with covalent boundings. So, uh, because this is most important for, for this kind of, uh, 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 for, for this kind of chemical bonding. But of course, we need uh, independent test for the perf uh, functional performance. If you do capture some uh, good uh, physics, and then the functional <coughs> should at the same time uh, be good for the description of the reaction barrier heights, not only the, uh, the, the bond dissociation energy, but also uh, the reaction barrier heights, and also uh, the, uh, and, and also the, uh, the non-covalent bond interaction. If this is so, and then we are happy. So, uh, uh, so this is a testing for the heat transformation. So for the G3 sets, actually they, uh, they have three subsets uh, uh, developed uh, uh, during these years from G21, G22, and G3, uh, G33. And uh, the numbers in the, in the process is uh, heavy atoms or non-hydrogen atoms. You can see, uh, uh, so, uh, uh, as, the, as the system has become uh, uh, larger or the system is, uh, uh, contains more non-hydrogen molecules and the uh, mean absolute deviation of b lip is getting considerably uh, 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 worse. So you can, yeah, so for, uh, yeah, you can see it's, uh, uh, so um, this is the performance of this new functional. Uh, yeah, now we can really uh, uh, cut this uh, 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 mean absolute deviation below two kilocouple more, which is uh, quite similar to G2 and G3. Uh, uh, this methods are uh, the couple class based and scale on uh, as the n to the seventh power. So um, this is an independent set, uh, testing set. So we're using Chula's sets for reaction barrier heights as an independent testing set. So this set includes a uh, yeah, uh, heavy atom transfer, nucleophilic substitution, unimolecules, and hydrogen transfer. Altogether, 70, uh, uh, 76 uh, reaction barrier heights. And this is the performance. Uh, so you can see now we can cut this uh, mean absolute deviation from B through lip, which on average is around uh, 4.5 kilocouple more, and for PBE, which on average is around 9 kilocouple more, down to something like 1 kilocouple more, which again is really similar to the couple cluster uh, based QCI SDT methods. Uh, so this is a simplified version of a CC couple, CC SD, uh, CC SDT, and so you can see uh, 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 we can now. Uh, this, uh, um, unlike Chula set uh, uh, functional, we are not fitting against uh, uh, the reaction barrier heights. This is an independent uh, testing. Testing. We can also use Chula's non-bonded interaction. 
so which contains hydrogen bond interaction, the charge transfer, dipole interaction, weak interaction, and pipe stacking. And so you can see, okay, this is performance of this rip. For for the pipe stacking, this rip is particular poor, and for LDA uh, pipe stacking uh, uh, from uh, Chula's uh, set is okay, but uh, it's very poor for hydrogen bonding. And then for this new functional, uh, that we can cut this mean absolute uh, uh, deviation down to 0.3 kilocarbon for this non-bonded interaction. And so again, this is a, uh, this is a testing. This is a, uh, this is a testing. So then uh, along this uh, along this uh, this uh, letters, uh, we have uh, 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 our own. Uh, uh, Double hybrid functional, which we call it as x y to three, which use the unoccupied uh, the orbital information, and indeed uh, this is good, uh, generally good for for those uh, for those uh, for those testing. Uh, so, uh, uh, my question is, uh, uh, if you have good performance, why? We already shown that uh, uh, the the functional is uh, uh, constructed. With the thinking of the adiabatic connection formula, formulas, and why we have this kind of a functional, it's not a purely fitting uh, <coughs> results. And then, uh, do we fulfill uh, more physical conditions? Even this, rate, <coughs> there's no more uh, physics fulfilled for this kind of a hybrid functionals. Can we do something better than this? So, uh, for for years, people uh, have been looking for a functional which can describe this kind of a fractional charge behavior. Because uh, rigorously, you should know that uh, uh, the exact energy for this fractional charge should be a straight line interpolation between this uh, uh, integer uh, between in, uh, this integer points. And this, uh, if you <coughs> deviate from this straight line uh, shape and uh, condition, and the adult is blamed for the problems with activation barriers, ionization potentials, little states in TDDFT, and the electron f uh, affinities. If, if you claim you can do this kind of thing, and can you have uh, this linear uh, 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 behaviors for your, func for, for your functionals? And of course, people have been, uh, uh, for this years, people have been examining the conventional fun functionals. They understand the, uh, the, uh, the, the difficulties from this conventional functionals. Uh, for example, why uh, 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 BLYP and B, uh, the uh, 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 B3LIP is not so perfect. Uh, because <coughs> this is because they have a convex uh, uh, behavior. And so you have this kind of delocalization adults. And for the double hybrid <coughs> functional, now we have the MP2. So <laughs> PT2 terms. It's not so trivial to, 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 to look at the, uh, uh, this fractional charge behavior. So uh, this is a performance. Thing. And ac actually, for the B2 POYP, Grimus type, you can already see that the, there's a significant improvement on this fractional charge behavior. Now, it's not so much convex, but still, uh, it's, it's big. And this is our new functional. Without the fitting, so if you're familiar with this, you may remind that, that Wei Tao has uh, yeah, uh, proposed his MCY3 by imposing this condition. And some other people will also tune his functional, uh, 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 like the, the, the range separate. So you will tune this omega for each system to achieve this kind of uh, linearity uh, uh, shape. And then you, uh, well, here we show that uh, now for, the uh, for the fractional charge and the xyg3 is actually nearly linear. And of course, you can still see something, uh, something, uh, uh, something here. And this is for xygjos. And you can see, okay, this uh, will explain uh, uh, why we have good uh, uh, behavior for, for this. Because this condition we never fit or we never constrain on this uh, uh, the, on, on this on onto this con uh, uh, this condition. And you can see, okay, for for different molecule uh, different molecules and different species, you can always have this kind of a linear from a piece of lip and the, the, uh, to have this kind of a li linearity, near linearity for the new functional. So 
if you do have this linearity, and then uh, what kind of properties you can benefit from, uh, from this good, uh, good linearity. We know that uh, 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 for, for Kangshan system or for Hatchifog system, we have the orbital energy. We have the orbital energy. In particular, for the Hatchifog serial, we have, uh, we have the Kupman serial. And then, which says that uh, uh, the IP is, uh, is equal to the to uh, the, uh, to uh, the, to the homo and the, uh, to uh, in magnitude, and EA is equal to the lumo in magnitude, and so the homo lumo gap is something uh, uh, you can you can measure from uh, for uh, 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 which is related to the fundamental gap of IP and 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 the EA, and of course this is a frozen orbital approximation. But for DFT, there's no Kupferman serial. We can prove that uh, the orbital is not the same as uh, uh, energy is not the same as, uh, 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 always the sa uh, same as the ionization energy. But then you can do the fractionalized, because for DFT, it's natural. You can do the fractional occupation of this orbitals. And then you can take energy derivative with respect to uh, this occupation numbers. This will define the meaning of this function orbitals. And then if this, uh, uh, if this uh, uh, functional is exact, and then the homo of this, uh, this, uh, this function will be something in, uh, 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 in magnitude to the IP, and, uh, and more recently, uh, we have also shown that uh, for function and, uh, 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 and the generalized function like this lift, the rumor should also something equals to the E N. But uh, 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 of course, you can do this uh, uh, the Hartree-Fock orbitals. So okay, I have to. But I still have nine minutes, right? According to my time up here. Okay, <laughs> you don't mind. It's not a few minutes later. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you. <laughs> So uh, then uh, the correlation effect uh, is uh, 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 it's missing here. Can we do MP2? Yeah. Uh, in fact, from the, from a green function area and also uh, also you can from this fractional charge occupation you can you can fractionalize the MP2 occupation and then you can have uh, MP2 orbitals uh, which is uh, which is a Hartree-Fock orbital plus some perturbation corrections. So, uh, uh, it, uh, if in terms of this, and then you can also define the x, y, g, three orbitals as a, as a, as a bislip orbitals plus some uh, uh, perturbation uh, corrections in, uh, on top of uh, on top of it. So we can see the performance. So this is adult distribution in the IPs. We also use the G two set. This is a adult distribution and. Uh, uh, so uh, this is for uh, uh, electron affinity. This is an adult distribution. You can, you can see we have a very sharp distribution around the point, uh, point zero uh, uh, electron, electron world. And if this is good, and then you can compare the homo to the IP and the lumo to the EA. So, uh, so this is, a, uh, this is a something really, uh, the differences between HOMA and the IP. And you can see uh, the adults <coughs> starting from, uh, from BOYP reduced uh, to b 3 and the B2BOYP, and this is our new functional. And you can also compare the rumor to the EA. So uh, adults also reduced from BOYP to b 3 and then finally to the, to the new functional. So really, we can have this homo as compared to the IP and lumo as compared uh, 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 as compared to the EA. So we can have the fundamental uh, uh, we can have the fundamental gap. So this is a mean absolute deviation as you compare to the gap, and so you can see the adults uh, really decreasing. So this is important if you do catalysis. For example, if uh, uh, two p uh, if two pi star orbitals uh, is uh, uh, predicted too low and with too much uh, interaction with the surface, and then you will predict this to be a uh, uh, absorption uh, in the hollow side uh, or bridge inside. But the experiment shows this is on top size. Uh, 
So you can you can also do the clusters and nano, uh, nano materials and to show uh, how uh, the gaps prediction uh, widened from uh, uh, TGA to uh, to hybrid and to the to the double hybrid. So this is uh, so this is concluding. Uh, we have a uh, uh, new XYG3 functionals. This is good and uh, not only for heat formation but also for reaction barrier heights and non bond interactions. Uh, we explain this uh, uh, as we have a uh, near uh, linear uh, uh, fractional charge <laughs> behaviors, and with this we can uh, we can have orbital energy as a fundamental uh, prediction as a fundamental gaps. Uh, of course, we have limitations, and maybe some people will ask. I cannot stop without uh, thanking people who uh, uh, is working on this. And so Neil is a second year uh, PhD student. Uh, he finished a fractional charge behavior exam. On this. Also, I didn't talk that uh, they finish XYG3 analytical gradients, so we can do geometry optimization uh, 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 automatically. And also, we have a new functional which is based on PPE without any fitting parameters, and we can get very similar performance for this. Of course, this was originally initiated by Igor and for the uh, for this new functional, and he's now in materials Shuffler's group, and he's already promoted as a group leader. See, yeah. So with that, I would like to thank you very much for your attention. <laughs> we do have um, many questions. Uh, what does the functional compare with the meta function? Meta, you mean meta GJ? Uh, okay, so uh, uh, people have been more, uh, working a lot on meta GJ, but uh, the generally uh, the performance of meta GJ uh, in terms of performance is not as uh, good as uh, I think, if you compare TPSS uh, to this for many properties, it's not so. It's a lower non functional. So the meta function with the second gradient of the density. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, that's so why we call that the property, meta. Yeah, most of the property are comparable uh, to the G3, uh, I, G1, G2, G3. Really? Yes. <laughs> so, um, uh, you know, which, so in terms of meta, which meta? Uh, the work yeah. of that in Salah Habak is Ah, it's Salah uh, functional. Yeah, yeah. That, which was uh, many, many years ago. And so uh, it depends on the, uh, the accuracy you are saying. Yeah, for some of our properties, uh, it's, it's good, but it's not for everything. For example, it's not good for dispersion. Okay, second question is about the dispersion. Most of the functional are short grade. Yes. Uh, how about this X function? So we have MP2, so it's non-local and uh, for the correlation. And we have a hydrophobic change. It's non-local for, for I mean, the short range. In terms so so it's long range. It's already long range. So most of them are not long range. Yeah, so yes. So this is the only one? Uh, Maybe there's a reason why it works for the weak interaction. Uh, this is one of them. Uh, of course, you have uh, one to one DF, uh, uh, DFT, one to one DFT uh, from uh, for, uh, uh, which is a uh, 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 Lagrange group, which is uh, an, uh, another way to 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 have the strong range correlation. So it's a new me because I thought love them at long range. Because you take one more question. It's a meaning of performance. I just have a question that I see you can get those fraction number very accurately. So what's your test of those H2 plus and H2 plus? Can you get the dissolution correct? So uh, more, more or less, you can okay. see this is for argon 2 plus. Okay. Yeah. So more that's yeah. Okay, let's thank the speak again. Thank you.